I have seen that corruption has become normal and it was it had normalized among the political class but is normalizing among the populace that is where I worry uh, because then you are you when you begin to extend that uh, reality to other things then it means that none of us are really safe because everything is corruptible everything becomes corruptible and that is where the food you eat, your security, whether you're accessing a school, whether you're accessing a hospital, basic services, water, everything. And that is a very dangerous society to live in um, when everybody can buy anybody. So it depends on whether you have money, then basically you get your way. And the majority of people don't have money. So you can, you can buy uh, uh, your judge or buy your policeman. Buy. That's a very dangerous. So that's where, for me, the concern is and that it is the point you know we shouldn't get to the point of no return where you get a huge disruption in society before people wake up to that that there's a problem we we still have time to begin to reverse the trend one of the ways in which we can reduce ordinary people participating in corruption is that services that government only provides they have to make it a corruption free zone because the citizens have no alternative but to access those services. So government has power to ensure that when you go for your birth certificate, when you go to a government hospital, when you go to, you are taking your kids to school, it's corruption free. You can access those services. Government can do that. So that one, there shouldn't be any limitation or constraint so that it can free the people from these kinds of engagement. And then we can concentrate on the more serious things where people are conspiring to basically steal from us. So for me, that is a way to get an entry point to start dealing with these kinds of issues.